going to be all about how I study for an exam. I'm really excited about this video because it is midterms week and I'm super stressed and for some reason filming makes me feel so much better. So today is literally an exam day. For me, my exam is tonight at six o'clock. So I'm going to be studying all day and I thought, you know what? Why not just make a video? Help some people out. I am very distracted when I study. I really struggle in school. School does not come easy to me. And so I feel like these things have really helped me out. So if you're anything like me, just an average girl that's in school, then hopefully these things will help you out too. Before we get started, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I've been a lot better with posting on there. I love posting on my stories and all of that. Making cute little stories is so much fun to me. So be sure to keep up with me over there. Also, anything that I talk about will be linked down below. Anything I show you, anything I'm wearing. I feel like everybody always asks, where's that shirt from? Or where is this from? Everything is always linked down below for you guys if I can find it. So with all that being said, let's get into the studying tips. So I'm going to walk you guys through what I do. So to start off, the very first thing I do is I get myself in a very particular space. This includes my head space and my actual physical space. So to get my head in the right space, I love to start my morning off with something that I love to do. For me, that's reading my Bible with a cup of coffee early in the morning. It just really sets the tone of my day. It gets my mind on hopeful things and on better things and on what truly matters in this world. And at the end of the day, if I don't do the best on this exam, it's not going to kill me. So the next thing to get in place is your physical space. And that is right here. This is where I get stuff done. I love this area. It's such a happy place in my house. It's bright and happy and all the colors are just aesthetically pleasing. It's also not too comfy to the point of where like you don't feel like doing anything. So if I go and sit on a couch, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to get my work done like I would sitting at a table. So that's the very first thing I would definitely recommend is just getting in a space that you're willing to sit there for multiple hours at a time and get stuff done. So the next thing before you even get into actually studying is I love, 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 love having a cup of coffee with me, which like, if you are a subscriber, you know this. If it's super early in the morning, I will make a hot cup of coffee, but if it's kind of hitting the afternoon time, I will make an iced cup of coffee. And guys, I've changed the game. Not only have I found the perfect iced coffee recipe, but I also found the perfect iced coffee cups and straws. That it really makes you feel like you're in a coffee shop, and this may be a little extra, but it literally just, I don't know, it motivates me because it looks cute, and you're also saving a lot of money. So there's a little tip for you. So after I make my coffee and I got my space all beautiful and good to go, this is whenever I start grinding. So I get my computer out, I get my planner out, I get my iPad out, and I pull out all the stops to make sure I have everything I need. The very first thing I do is I pull out my planner. You guys know I'm a big planner girl. I kind of have to be with all the stuff between doing YouTube and school. There's just a lot going on in my life. So having a planner is literally the only way I survive. And I see everything that I have do that week written down. But today is the day of the exam, so that is my main focus. So I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna pull out my study guide, and I'm gonna start taking notes. I really, really enjoy color coding my notes. Um, I know there's like some science-y thing behind it that it actually helps you remember things better. I don't really know what it is, but I just enjoy it because it's aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> so for example, this test is over four different chapters. Each chapter is gonna have a color, and I'm going to take my notes of that chapter in that specific color. So I'm just gonna go through each chapter and choose a color. So I love my Papermate flare pens. That's what I always use. And I've gotten new colors this year, and they've really motivated me, but I've been borrowing my roommate's pen. She has like the, it's the ultra fine tip and these are like 10 times better. So after these die, I'm going to start using these because it's just, it looks better when it's smaller. So my next tip is to actually handwrite your notes. It's so, so important to handwrite everything, not to type it out. It actually is another scientific thing that I don't really know for sure, but I've heard it a million times, so it must be true, right? If you write things down, then it actually helps you remember it better. Between having colorful pens and being able to associate it with what you're writing with, I think it really helps 
helps you be able to remember everything that's going on. So whenever you get to the exam, you can actually apply the information and it's not just like this memorized information. So I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna go through everything and this is what I'm gonna do. Clearly you can apply this for whatever exam you're taking, but for me, this exam only has four chapters. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a chapter, then I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna do chapter, take a break, chapter, take a break, you get the drill. So this really helps me like just have a light at the end of the tunnel because I'm sitting down for 15 minutes and it feels like it's been two hours, but it's only been 15 minutes. So I have to be able to have a light at the end of the tunnel, an end goal in mind where I can do something that I want to do. So whether that's having a snack, watching a quick YouTube video, something to get my mind off of studying. So that tip has actually really, really helped me in my like school life. So the next tip I have for you is to put your phone away. If you guys are anything like me, I just see it and I'm like, gotta grab it, you know? And so what I like to do is literally put it just away. I'll put it over on a shelf or something to where if someone's calling me, I can answer it, you know, like it's not that big of a deal, but to the point of where I'm just not tempted to look at it, get on Instagram, get on YouTube. And if that does not help you, if you do not have enough self-control, then you need to put a timer on your app. So put a 15 minute limit, and if you pass that limit, put it away. And if that still doesn't help you because you'll just put in the password and click ignore, then you need to have somebody make a password that you don't know. I know, I know, it's a bit extra, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. If you're that addicted, then you gotta cut it off. You see what I'm saying? That really helps me, just putting it away is really great. The next tip that I have is to get yourself a speaker, get some study music going, and get in the mode. Having music really helps me. I know some people can't study with music, so I would recommend doing instrumental music. I know a lot of people do really well with classical music. My friend who's a nursing student, that's what she does. So just do whatever is best for you, but it really just sets the mood. It's really great, I love doing it. And then the very last tip that I have is just to not stress about it too much. I always like to think in 10 years, is this test really gonna affect me? Some exams, it might, like it may be like an entry level exam, whatever, but this is just for your average midterm exam. Overall, I don't think it's worth stressing about to the point of where it creates so much anxiety. I know I can get to that point. And so what I try to do is just relax and go, you know what, I'm gonna do the best that I can do and that's all I can do. And I find it just puts me in a better headspace and I feel so much better. I can be very critical and I can put so much weight on myself. And so it's really good just to remind yourself that you can only do what you can do and just do your best. And I'm sure it will all work out to what it needs to be. And that's what I try and tell myself. So with all that being said, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this was helpful for you. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. And again, everything I talked about will be linked down below for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.